the welfare of millions of people for generations to come may be affected by the wisdom which we here display. With Nigerian leaders and our British partners are to prove themselves worthy of their trust, now is the time for us solemnly and truly to dedicate ourselves to seeking the greatest good of the greatest number of our people in Nigeria. It is to this end that my colleagues and I pledge ourselves. The first main task of our conference is to resolve those problems which defied solutions in 1957 and to evolve for Nigeria, for Nigeria a constitution of which both the British and the Nigerian peoples can be proud. The second is to get Her Majesty's government to agree to April 2nd, 1960 as the target date for Nigeria's independence. Independence for Nigeria in 1960 is imperative. But independence for Nigeria as a corporate entity is not enough. The peoples of Nigeria must at the same time be guaranteed their freedom. We must ensure, we must ensure that in an independent Nigeria, individual citizens throughout the land enjoy liberty, human dignity and equality under the law. There must be one Nigeria with one constitution and one law for all. Let us therefore, Mr. Chairman, sir, close our ears to the Council of Despair, which says that we cannot here at this conference agree on a constitution. If there is any doubt among us as to what should be written into the Constitution, let us as Democrats that we profess ourselves to be refer such problems as the goal has done recently to the people whom we profess to represent either just before or at the federal elections late in 1959. It was at the conference of 1958 held in London that the then Secretary of State for the Colonies takes a date for Nigeria's independence in 1960. From October the 1st, 1960, your future will be in your own hands.